What are the good things and the bad things of Cleburne, Texas? That's one of the common questions that I get from clients that are looking to move to the southern part of the DFW Metroplex. So if you're thinking about moving to Cleburne or simply want to learn more about the city, this is a video for you. And make sure to stay to the end because some of the downsides will not only surprise you, but they can actually cost you money. Oh, and by the way, if we're just meeting, my name is Jaime Resendez. Welcome to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel where you'll find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. All right, so let's get into it. Technically, I would still consider Cleburne just outside of the DFW Metroplex. However, with that being said, we're looking at 40 minutes to get to downtown Fort Worth and about an hour to get to downtown Dallas. And as a quick reminder, the one rule that we have for this particular YouTube channel, given that it's a DFW-based channel, is if the city can access both downtowns of Fort Worth and Dallas within about an hour, we're gonna go ahead and include it in this particular channel. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the pros of Cleburne. Pro number one is the affordability. Cleburne has some of the most affordable real estate around the DFW Metroplex right now, where both resale and new construction homes are still selling at a reasonable price. And of course, since we're talking real estate, location, location, location absolutely matters, which of course is one of the reasons that real estate is so affordable right now in Cleburne, because not everybody is willing to be 40 minutes away from downtown Fort Worth or an hour away from Dallas. So you have less demand, but there's a lot more opportunity if the commute or travel is not so important for you. Now, the second pro to Cleburne, which is not always gonna be the case, by the way, is the small town feel. We understand that a lot of people are moving here to DFW from all over the world. So given that demand, we're gonna continue expanding beyond what was normally a suburb, will quickly become a rapidly growing city and on and on. And this is what's gonna happen to Cleburne. But as of right now, you still have the small town feel in Cleburne. You can still go to historic downtown and enjoy yourself. You can still enjoy the Friday night lights atmosphere. And speaking of enjoying yourself, let's talk about pro number three, which is the outside recreation. In many cases, when it comes to Cleburne, you literally have the great outdoors, right outside your front door. You can go to the parks, you can go hiking, you can go to the lake, you can go hunting, you can do a lot of outdoor activities in a very short period of time. And what's cool about Cleburne is that you don't have to do day trips or entire weekends just to enjoy the outdoors. You can go out there in the morning and do what you need to do. If you're gonna go to the lake or just do the afternoon session, whatever floats your boat, literally, is um, what you can do. Oh, and by the way, if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and comment Cleburne down below to let me know you're here. All right, so now let's talk about some of the cons. What are the downsides of Cleburne? The number one thing that you're gonna have trouble with is transportation. Just like most of the United States, public transportation is something that you're not gonna be able to rely on if you're living in Cleburne. So you do need reliable transportation. You're gonna need that transportation to get to the grocery store, to get to the dry cleaners, to get to work in many cases. There has to be a vehicle in your driveway if you're going to have that quality of living that you're looking for. So just be aware of that, especially if you have to commute to work for an extended period of time. And in many cases, if you're having to go to the Arlingtons, the Fort Worth, the Dallas of the world, you're gonna find yourself at a quick trip, my favorite gas station of all time, by the way, a lot. Which brings us to con number two, which is the limited job opportunities. Now, as you can imagine, a city that's rapidly growing, which is something that Cleburne is currently undergoing, there will eventually be more job opportunities. So while there will be a ton more job opportunities in the future, right now, that's something that is still a challenge, which kind of brings us back to con number one, and that being the transportation piece, because if you don't have a job where you're living, well, that means that you're commuting. So at that point, you are having to get on the road and get to Fort Worth and get to the Arlingtons of the world and get to Dallas and other cities in the DFW Metroplex. The third downside of Cleburne is the lack of entertainment. You're not gonna find a ton of entertainment in Cleburne itself. You're gonna have to go up north again. You're gonna have to go into Burleson, go into Fort Worth, go into the more populated areas to have 
more restaurants, to have more shopping, to have more entertainment options. But once again, this is a temporary thing. This is not gonna be a forever thing because we know Cleburne is growing. Think of it this way. This is the stereotypical small town progression. When you start off as a small town in Texas, the moment that you make it is when you get a Dairy Queen. Once you have a Dairy Queen, the next step up from that is you get your dollar store. Once your dollar store is in place, you progress to the next level and that is getting a Walmart. Once you have that Walmart, it used to be you got an Albertsons, but now you get a Kroger. And once you have that Kroger, God willing, you get an HEB. And the pinnacle of a small town is when you get a Whole Foods. Once you get a Whole Foods, you've made it. And just so you know, where Cleburne is in that progression, ATB. Now overall, Cleburne is one of those small town feel type of cities that has really good people, has people that care about you. You're gonna get to know people's names. You're gonna be able to do community with them. It's gonna be a good time. And right now is still a huge opportunity for those that are looking for that brand new build that is fairly large for a reasonable price. So if Cleburne stands out to you and you wanna learn more about the city of Cleburne, all the way back to when it was founded, check out this video right here. And if you're ready to check out some homes in the city of Cleburne, check out our preferred homes list down below.